quarantine been going on a little too long? Are your point shoes getting tired too? Hard floors, limited supplies, no new shoes to sew? Never fear, we have a solution for you. Paper mache point shoes. A simple and easy craft you can undertake for questionable results. Sound too good to be true? Carry on watching to see how you can make these babies at home. Today I will be tackling the very serious craft of paper mache my very own point shoe. I don't have a lot of paper mache experience. I did not test out a single thing before we started making this video. Let's see how I did it. I don't actually suggest that you guys DIY your own point shoes and think you are going to dance in them. Okay, so we've stuck the shoe and we've loosened up the elastic. We can start with the tape. I'm gonna start with one piece that's actually gonna stick on the shoe. They said to go around on the outside, like using the sticky part out. And you go around. Ooh! For this voiceover, I am going to be pretending that you are going to actually make it along with me regardless of if that's really your intent or not. So the paper mache videos I saw online said to first do a cast of tape around the original shoe as I'm doing. I picked the blue painters tape just because it was all that we had at home and it turns out to actually be a good tape to use because it doesn't damage the shoe. What you want to do is layer up the tape, mostly sticky side out to cover the entire thing, and you can use some tape sticky side in to anchor in those pieces. But be careful because the tape is sticky to itself. I suggest starting by wrapping the box and then going up the sides as I'm doing in this video. So the next step is to cut the cast that you made free of your point shoe so you can start on the actual paper mache part. I mean, okay, so some of it's kind of sticking. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, so we have our little cast. Mm -hmm. You should go back and tape up those parts you cut so that you have a true to size cast. Now is the time to use any of that old cardboard you may have laying around. I had a couple of pieces from old boxes and secondhand picture frames. I also used a toilet paper roll later, which is maybe a very weird flex right now. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> So using your original point shoe, you'll want to trace the size of your box onto a piece of cardboard as you just saw. We're going to use that to strengthen the box, and all you have to do is use more tape to add it onto the cast. Now we're going to do a similar thing as well with the shank. Look how small. When you stand on the tape, like that's not even close. Like, it's not, it's not even close. Your foot is just getting shoved inside the shoe. Good to know. It's good to know, yes. So after recovering from my shock of the shank size, I chose to do double of this. So one for the inside and one for the outside. I did the same thing as the box and I just taped them on there. Okay, so now for the actual paper mache part. If you remember anything from elementary school art class, this requires some paper, of course. You need to rip it into little pieces. You can use newspaper or old gift paper like I did. You'll also need a paper mache glue or alternatively other crafters suggested Elmer's glue diluted with water. Just use a paintbrush to apply the glue onto the pieces and little bits at a time start adding them onto the cast. You'll need to do pieces going in several different directions and overlapping to add strength. How's it going? The inside is hard. <laughs> if you have patience, you're supposed to like wait for it to dry or something, but I don't want to. So I was struggling with getting paper to stick to the inside of the shoe. It kept ripping. Um, but I eventually found out that if I made a long piece out of many small pieces and then added that singular long piece into the shoe, it was a whole lot easier, so I suggest doing that. Also, don't forget to take breaks and eat food and yeah, then just keep on going until you've covered it all. Okay, 
Okay, so I think to give my box a fighting chance for being hard enough, I think I'm gonna put some of the toilet paper roll in there. I don't really know where I'm going with this. So I was feeling a little bit insecure about the strength of the box, so I decided to add this toilet paper roll. And after I did that, I painted on some extra glue between the roll and the shoe. All you have to do is then just press and hold that for a few seconds. This helps the roll mold to the paper. And after this step, you can just go back and recheck your shoe and add paper wherever you think it's going to need the extra support. I made sure to add the most paper to the shoe and shank area because I still was convinced that I was going to put it on my foot and wear it. <laughs> Okay, so we're done for the day. It looks pretty good. It It's a little big, <laughs> like compared to a regular point shoe, it's pretty large. We'll see tomorrow. I have to wait and let it dry overnight and it will harden hopefully. And then I'm gonna try to put it on my feet. It's been several days since we mache the shoes. I made a little bit of a mistake. I have read online that you're supposed to add an all-purpose glue to sort of seal in the paper mache that you made, uh, but it made it really sticky. So the first 24 hours I thought maybe it just needs a little bit more time, but I don't think any amount of time is going to make it less sticky. So I will still try it out because I came this far. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try it on. Oh my gosh, I don't think it even fits. <laughs> and it's so sticky. Okay, maybe we just need to break in the box a little bit like a normal thing too. Let me get my foot in. It's in. It's in there. I have absolutely zero confidence that this is going to sustain my body weight, but I am going to hold on to my bookshelf and hope for the best. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, it hurts my toenails so bad. There's like no... Actually, it looks pretty good. <laughs> Point! Okay, so my initial reaction is it's sticky. It's too small. The box is way too soft. My toes are like going over and yet it's pulling me back. So weird. The sides of the shoe and the vamp is pretty good. This I did, this I did a really good job. But uh, no points for... No point. Ah, ah, ah. For being able to point my foot though. Wait, maybe I can bend it. Does that look better? Oh, yeah, that's even, whoa. Shape of the punch looks better. <laughs> For experimentation purposes, I want to put on the other point shoe and just compare. I think we know which one is better. some finishing questions. Did I get desirable results? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, I was able to successfully get up on my foot, but it was not comfortable in any way. <laughs> not like point shoes are usually comfortable, but it was way too soft in the box and then strangely hard in the shank. And it was sticky, it was very sticky. But it resembled a point shoe and I got up on it, so I would say mediocre results. What was the most unexpected aspect of this DIY? Unexpected. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I really had any expectations whatsoever. I'm not sure anything could have been categorized as unexpected. What did I learn? Uh, I learned that you should not put all-purpose general glue and spray it all over your paper mache project. That was a mistake. It's been like four or five days since I did that and it is still sticky. Interestingly though, the inside of the box where I was not able to successfully spray it is hard and not sticky. So I think if I had just skipped that step, the whole DIY would have been 
like a level more successful. Would I do it again? Um, I would not pay for mache point shoes again. It was really for nothing other than boredom and an excuse to be able to paper mache again because I don't know what else people would want to see me paper mache. If you did like me paper macheing though, you can tell me and then I can make more of them. <laughs> Also like if you like and please subscribe whether you want to watch my videos because you actually enjoy them or you just find it hilarious to watch me spend my time like this, that's fine too. I'll be bringing more ballet, travel, DIY, and recipes to you again soon. Take care guys, bye! Maybe I have a devil in my eyes, but that's fine. Oh.